Welcome to our channel, where we explore the topic of the isolationist era in Japan. During this period, Japan closed its borders to foreign influences and focused on internal development. The isolationist policy, known as Sakoku, was implemented from the 17th to the 19th century. The decision to close the country was influenced by political instability and fear of foreign domination. During this time, the Japanese government strictly controlled who could enter or leave the country. Trade was limited to a few designated ports, such as Nagasaki and Dejima in Kyushu. Foreign books were banned, and Japanese citizens were prohibited from leaving the country. The exception to this policy was the Dutch, who were allowed to conduct limited trade and live in Dejima. The isolationist era had both positive and negative effects on Japan's development. On one hand, it led to the preservation of traditional Japanese culture and arts. On the other hand, it limited technological advancements and hindered the country's global standing. During this period, the Tokugawa shogunate ruled Japan and maintained strict control over society. They imposed a rigid social structure and instituted a policy of national seclusion. In addition to closing off the country, the shogunate also promoted the practice of alternate attendance. This required regional daimyo to spend alternate years in Edo, the current-day Tokyo. The isolationist era ended in the mid-19th century with the arrival of Commodore Perry's American fleet. Perry's arrival and subsequent negotiations forced Japan to open its doors to foreign trade and influence. The Meiji Restoration, which followed the end of the isolationist era, brought significant changes to Japan. The country embarked on a path of modernization and adopted Western technology and ideas. In conclusion, the isolationist era in Japan had a lasting impact on the country's development and culture. It preserved traditional Japanese practices but also limited progress and global interactions. Exploring this era allows us to understand Japan's complex history and the factors that shaped modern-day Japan.